Hey, this is Joe from Personas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to route the click track to a different output in Studio One. So if you've never used the click before, you can find it down here. It's technically called a metronome. Everybody calls it a click. So this is it right here. By clicking that button, I am turning the metronome on and off. I can also do that by pressing the button C on the keyboard. So with it on, if I press play, 20, 20, 24 hours to go. That's too slow, but you get the idea. So now we have a click track. Now by default, if I open up the mixer in Studio One, the click is coming out of our main output. So this channel over here to the far right, I have mine red. You may notice it has a similar looking image to what's down here, right? That looks like a metronome, and that looks like a metronome. So this is telling Studio One that you wanna hear the metronome on this channel, or specifically on this output. So by default, I'd say 90% of the time, this is the way I use it. I have it coming out of the main output with the rest of my mix, it's all just basically coming through here, and that's how I listen. Occasionally though, if I'm recording a band, or if we're doing a lot of recording and then listening back on the speakers, I'd love to not have to turn the click on and off all the time, um, and I'd love to have it to where the click is just going to our headphone mixes, but not going to the speakers. So the way we do that is by having separate outputs. I use the main output here to feed my speakers, and I use another output to feed our headphones. Well, how do we access that? First thing you need to do is open up your preferences, okay? And come to Audio Setup, and come to Song Setup. I got there really roundabout backwards. Here's the easier way to get there. Open up the mixer by pressing F3. Come up here to the top left of the mixer, you'll see this I-O button. That's the audio I.O. setup. It takes you here. This gives you a kind of grid view showing you all the inputs of your particular device. For me, that's a Studio Live 24. And if we click on this Outputs tab, we can now see all the outputs of our particular device. Now, depending on how you have it set up, you may see something like this, where the only output that's technically set up in Studio One is the main output. Now, most of the time, if that may be all that you need. But for me, since I wanna use a separate set of outputs, let's say channel, I think I'm using channel 26 and 27, I need a separate output here set up. So I'm gonna hit add mono, because I just want actually a mono signal. We're gonna call this click. And then I've got my mixer set up to bring the click on channel 26 on my mixer. So I put that there and I say apply, okay? All right, now it is set up. Now, if I come over here, to, you may not know this existed, but if you look on the bottom left-hand side of the mixer, we've got these buttons here, whoops. One of them is called outputs. If we turn that on, we can then see our outputs over here next to our main output. If you don't see anything, it might be hidden. Just drag it out this way. If you have lots of outputs set up, they will all show up here. Since I only have two, I'm gonna drag it like this. These look almost identical. Two differences being this one is mono and this one's our main output and this one is going to output channel 26. All I have to do now is I press this button to turn it off on the main output and turn it on on channel 26. Now channel 26 is set up to feed my headphones and the main output has our mix. So let me show you what that looks like on my mixer. Okay, this is actually still set up from a tracking day the other day with drums and bass. So you can see I've got kick, snare, a bunch of drums, the bass channel is here, my guitar and my vocal is over there, and here is the click track. So if I hit play in Studio One, we can see it's coming out of this click track. It is not coming out of my main output. Now, if I go back into Studio One and I switch over to the main output, now we'll see. We still hear it because it's coming out of this main output, but now we can see there's no level here. It's not coming out of our click output. And if you're wondering, yeah, you can have it going to multiple places. Maybe you have a different output for different headphone mixes for different musicians or something like that. That's possible as well. You may be wondering, okay, so I still heard it when it was coming down both channels. What's that all about? Well, when I'm actually, the way I have it set up, you don't have to worry about this, but I have this just turned down or the solo turned off. So I'm only hearing these channels out of the speakers and not this, but that's neither here nor there. So in typical Joe Gilder fashion, I took something that I could explain in 30 seconds and talked about it for seven minutes, but I wanted to make this a little more valuable so you understood the core concept and the applications and how to do this rather than a quick one hit that you forget right away. So there you go. Happy recording. Stay on the click.